Hello grade 1 students. Welcome to math lesson. At this time, we are going to learn a new topic, math. It will be all about math. Are you ready? Please stay focused and listen carefully. In this unit, we will learn how to compare two or more objects using heavier, lighter, as heavy as, the heaviest, and the lightest. And also, how to estimate, measure, and describe the mass of an object using non-standard unit. But for today's lesson, we will only focus on how to compare objects based on their weights. Now, let's take a look at the pictures of a whale and a clownfish. Can you tell me which one is heavier? Yes, you're right. Whale is heavier than a clownfish. How about now? There is a birthday cake and a lollipop. What do you think? Which one is lighter? Well, you're right again. Lollipop is lighter than the birthday cake. Now, I will show you a video to help you understand Let's check it out. Hey guys, this is Ethan from motiontutor.com and this is a video lesson on weights and about weights we're going to look at things that are heavier than lighter than or the same weight but before I get to that lesson be sure to visit motiontutor.com for other video lessons and activities on the website so let's get to this lesson so when we say things are heavier than and lighter than. What do we really mean? I'm going to ask my friend Eric to help me with this one. So here is Eric walking and in his way is a big old cow. So now Eric thinks to himself, hmm, I wonder if I can lift this cow out of the way. So. Eric is going to give it a try. And as you can see, Eric is trying his hardest to lift this cow, but he can't even move it at all. This cow is heavy. This is what you will call heavy. Look at him. Look at Eric's face. He can't even move this cow at all. So let's rewind this thing and try it again. So here is Eric walking again just minding his own business and what did he see on the ground in front of him a tablet so Eric thinks to himself hmm I wonder if I can pick up this tablet from the ground Eric tries to and guess what success he was able to lift the tablet from off the ground this means the tablet is light light enough for him to lift up with one hand. So that's just a little illustration of heavier than and lighter than. The cow was heavier than the tablet and the tablet was lighter than the cow. In front of me is a balance scale. And on this scale, I have these two platforms over here where I will put objects on and here's this needle in the middle that will point to the heaviest object I put on these platforms over here. So using this scale, I will be comparing objects to see which one's heavier than the other and which one's lighter than the other, and also if they're the same weight. So first objects I'll be using will be some books. and a pencil. Now, according to this scale, we see that the books are heavier than this one pencil because the books are lower on the scale 
the pencil is higher up like a seesaw and this needle is pointing over towards the heavier object which are the books so the way this scale is tilted this way tells us that the books are the heavier objects so the books are heavier than the pencil and in other words the pencil is lighter than the books let's try something else i have a rock and a piece of paper and as you can see the scale is leaning over towards the rock side because the rock is so much heavier than the piece of paper so the rock is heavier than the piece of paper or in other words the paper is lighter than the rock let's try this leaf and this basketball as you can see the scale is showing that the basketball is heavier than the leaf therefore the basketball is heavier than the leaf and in other words the leaf is lighter than the basketball now what if i just remove this leaf and i get another basketball as you can see the scale is balanced it's even it's side by side both objects are the same exact thing so they weigh the same neither one is heavier than the other this one isn't heavier than the other thing and this one isn't lighter than the other thing they are the same weight all right let's try this nice cute bunny rabbit and um this pig now you can see that this pig is way heavier than this rabbit because the scale is just tipped over on this side and the needles pointing over to the heavier object so yes this big pig hey is heavier than the rabbit or the rabbit is lighter than the pig. And I want to try one more thing. I'll remove this rabbit. And let me see my weight what? with this pig. Um, I guess this pig is also heavier than me. I can't seem to make the scale tip over on my side. So yes, this pig is really heavy. Hey and definitely heavier than me therefore i'm lighter than this pig anyway that's all i have for now until the next lesson goodbye Have you ever played a seesaw in the playground? Exactly. A balance works like a seesaw. Let's take a look to the picture. It shows how does a balance work. The lighter side goes up while the heavier side goes down. A balance can help us to compare two objects. It helps us to know which object is heavier or lighter than the others or even maybe have the same weights. As we can see from the picture, the frog is lighter than the elephant and it means that the elephant is heavier than the frog.
Let's recap what we have discussed before. We use heavier, lighter, or as heavy as to compare the weights of two objects. For example, the elephant is heavier than the rabbit. The rabbit is lighter than the elephant. The acorns are as heavy as a mushroom. While to compare the weights of three objects or even more, we use the heaviest or the lightest. For example, the elephant is the heaviest. The dog is the lightest. Now, let's see these three animals. Komodo dragon, gecko, and snake. Which one is the lightest? Well, you're right. Gecko is the lightest. How about this? Pumpkin, chili, and tomato. Which one is the heaviest? It's true. Pumpkin is the heaviest. Well, kids, can you tell me what you have learned so far today? Yes, you have learned how to describe the mass of various objects, use balance scale to compare the weights of two objects, and compare the weight of some objects. Hang on for a second. Here are what you have to do next. Do the worksheet and check. Well, that's the end of the lesson today. See you tomorrow. Have a good day, you all.